Yeah, Tim, there was a strong veteran presence at tonight's council meeting, all showing up with one goal, to make sure that the council's names are not included in the park. I wasn't trying to upset anybody or anything like that. I just wanted to get my point across that uh, it's for veterans and uh, that's basically it. Mike Miller served 23 years in the military and he cares about Veterans Park. He says that's why he didn't want to see the council members names added. It kind of upset me once we found out that they wanted names on it. To, uh, um, a lot of people felt like that they were trying to memorialize themselves. In June, the council passed an item that would add the council's names and titles to a plaque near a flower bed in the park. Some residents then questioned why the council would be a part of the Veterans Plaza if none of them are veterans. It was just an idea because there are some um, uh, markers on the flower bed that um, are th those that are supported in the sense of donation or volunteered or, or material. The council was wanting to say hey, we want to uh, just have a marker there just like the other ones were. Nothing any bigger or smaller, just the same size, just saying, hey, we dedicate this portion of the of the park to the veterans. Many residents also worried that the new plaque would be a waste of taxpayer dollars, but Mayor Pro Tem Cesar Lopez compared the plaque to an expensive Christmas tree that the city purchased. But now $1,000 is a concern, but the what, ten to $16,000? That was, that was okay. That was okay. This, not okay. Once so, again, I don't want my name on there. I do not want my name on there. And I, I, I refuse to. But at the same time, you got, there's, there's another issue besides, besides this plaque. The council voted unanimously Tuesday night to scrap the idea of adding a plaque with their names. Each council member firm in their opposition tonight, yes. even as some voted in favor of the idea last time. And there's a lot of misunderstandings were going around, and tonight was the night that we were able to clear everything. I think this was, this was, this was healthy. And while these current Shafter City Council members will not have their names added to the Veterans Memorial, some residents tonight suggesting the council members who helped secure funds for the project several years ago should have their names added. We'll keep you updated with what happens. In the studio, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you. Now to the latest on what